Do you know where the stroke is based on when I tell you where the patient's symptom is? Now when it comes to strokes, if you're an MCA stroke, because we see MCA strokes all the time, right? We say, hey, patient's got a large vessel occlusion of the MCA, what are you supposed to expect? When I have an MCA stroke, I'm going to have arms affected more than the legs. What else would you also have with most MCA strokes? What are you affecting when you do an MCA stroke? You're going to take off your Broca's area. So as a result, you're going to have aphasia. So a lot of time MCA stroke, you can almost remember it as MCA, M for muscle weakness, A for aphasia. Okay, and C for contralateral homonymous hemianopsia. Okay, so you're going to have visual disturbances with contralateral homonymous hemianopsia. Okay, now when it comes to an anterior cerebral artery stroke, what are you going to get there? You're going to get legs affected more than arms. We get that. But what else would happen? Because you're affecting your frontal lobe when it comes to ACA stroke. Very good. So you're going to have personality changes. Personality changes. What else? Interestingly, you'll also have urinary incontinence. Okay, with ACA stroke, you can have urinary incontinence. Okay, all right. Now, once you've understood that, you know the patient of MCA, ACA, you're going to cause that. 